Uh, Braxton, you, you also see with large amounts of money who are, are, are losing it all. How have you become kind of a budgeting wizard and what is your overall philosophy towards doing this? I mean, how are you, I mean, you know, we got the school teacher who makes a million, and or he, we have a guy, a school teacher who becomes a millionaire, he got a, a millionaire athlete who becomes homeless. Mm -hmm. They're all, you know, it's budgeting that's the difference. Yeah. How, what is your philosophy <clears throat> towards budgeting? Well, I mean, we talked a little bit about a giving plan and a saving plan, how you work yeah. that out, but if you don't, if you spend it all, there's no way to, it's, it's really hard to do that kind of thing. So, I mean, there's some very specific things that, that I do. I use Dave Ramsey's Gazelle budget, which is- Gazelle uh, budget. The Gazelle budget. You can just go, uh, Google Dave Ramsey Gazelle budget. It's, a, it's called a zero-based budget. And what I used to think, which what I believe was wrong thinking, is that you set up a budget at the beginning of the year and you follow it all year long. So a lot of businesses do that, but you've got to set up a budget monthly. If you don't have a monthly budget that you refine, like we've talked about in other sessions where you, where you, you, you define what you're going to, to spend and then you, you act, you, you're going to act on spending. That's very, very easy. But then you've got to refine that, um, that, that budget every single month. So for me, I, mean, I, have like, I have a number of accounts in my bank. This is a very simple thing, but you have two, I have two business accounts and then I have a holding account and then I pay myself and I pay my wife. I'm going to, real quick, I want to kind of get the, let me see if I can get this. It takes like a college degree, apparently, to operate this. So, Okay, so you have different accounts. Yeah. So go ahead and fire off the names. So I have two business accounts. So this you have is two, you have biz, I'll put business. Yeah. Uh, that was the most crazy way to make a B. Business that one. That awesome. And you have <laughs> business two. Yeah. These so people accounts. pay me in, into the business. That's where I, I don't spend any money, any personal money out of those accounts. So these are just, okay, business one, business yeah. two. What else do you have? All right, so then I have like, uh, I have a, a, holding, a, a holding account. Okay, holding account. Yeah, so this, uh, this holds money that I um, am paying myself yeah. out of the businesses. And then I have a personal checking for myself. Yeah. And I have a personal checking for my wife. And they're both joint accounts. They're not, you know, she doesn't have her own account. I have my, don't have my own account. But she has a card and a checkbook for hers. I have a card and a checkbook for mine. How do you spell Haley? H A L E Y. H A L. Mm -hmm. H A L. Man, writing is not my strong suit. Okay, Haley, and then we have Brax. I'm just trying to give yeah. you some real here. So this is one for you. Yeah. This is one for her. Yeah. This is a holding account. This is where you pay your salary out of. Uh, this is this where I, I yeah I pay myself out of those. Okay, so I'm just going to into that into that account, and then the money that we have budgeted to spend, each of us, we distribute from that account. Now this is going to represent. A tomato sauce can, Braxton. Okay. Bells bar tomato sauce. Okay, so here's the deal. So you get to the end of the month, and you're going to go shopping, and the tomato sauce that you want to buy, and the organic milk, and some sort of item, I don't know, all these items in your grocery basket are now $22 of expenses, but you only have a total of $21 in the bank account. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do with the? Uh, what do you do with this? You, you put it back on the shelf. You say, I am not going to buy you, you Valspar branded yeah. tomato sauce yeah. because I am out of money for the month? Because if you begin to not follow the system in those ways, the system will become completely ineffective. So you're and like, you're going, hey man, <coughs> Hey, you know, so that you go put, you just put it back. You say, "We're, I'm sorry, we're not going to buy this." There's some food at home that we can eat, and and when we get the budget uh, amount and the plan plan for the next month, we can get like a million jars of tomato sauce. Have you ever got to the end of the month and you begin just looking for creative things in your cupboard to eat? Even even I mean, in the last yeah. couple of years, where you're like. I guess we can eat beans with crackers because we're out of sure. money in the account. Sure, and we began. We we we've been able to increase grocery budget over the years so that we don't get like into that. But um, if we needed to in decrease the grocery budget, I feel confident that we could pull it off. I'm going to say this real quick. Let's pretend. I just want to make this real for the folks at home. Let's pretend. And I'm not saying you do. I'm not getting personal. I'm just giving an example. Yeah. Let's say you had fifty thousand dollars over here in the business account. Right. 
but you still needed $22 to buy food and you only have 21. You're saying even though you know there's 50 over here, you're just not going to pull from the other 50 to do it. You're just simply going to put the, the suit back. That's correct. That's the kind of discipline you're and putting that, in. Well, it's a boundary that you set for yourself. Yeah. And if you, if you break that boundary once, then it gets easier to break it again and again and again. So you just, you, you, you have, we have two meetings that are not intense, my wife and I, per month. She's on the same page with me and it's, it takes time because I mean, money, especially in, in a family or even in a team, uh, like in your business with your team, you sit down and you have uh, fun, reasonable, not really intense conversations. You just, everybody knows what's going on, people that need to know in your business and especially in your family with, with your spouse. Then you kind of know, okay, we're all on the same team, here's what we're going for and here's what we're working for. So putting that, you know, that jar of tomato sauce back on the shelf isn't, isn't like a terrible thing. It's, it's an okay thing to do. And that's how you're keeping your expenses low is just by yeah. budgeting and being diligent about uh, yeah. If sticking within it. You got to be reasonable. I mean, you can't give. Uh, we have a family. I have four kids, so I can't give myself a five hundred dollar grocery budget. I have to be. I have to be reasonable about it.